everybody. Hey everybody, here's my, uh, what I believe is a 1929 uh, Laytrac. Uh, made by Laytrac. It's a uh, Laytrac Junior is what this one's called. Has a Wisconsin, um, what's this one called again? This one's a ACN model. Uh, I think it's, so far it's a fairly-ish common engine compared to engines from the 1940s and 50s. Uh, what's really cool about this is obviously it has tracks. And, uh, well, it's got a really neat engine on too. It's had a um, externally mounted magneto, which I thought was uh, really dang cool. Fairbanks Morris magneto. You still got parts for it too, which is a little bit surprising. But then uh, what I really draw me is the tracks. Uh, I just think this is so dang cool with the tracks on it and all that. And Yeah, I just, it was one of those things that you kind of just have to have, you know. Anyways, the walk behind is really cool. We pull this lever, picks up the engine, and then this red pulley is supposed to have friction material on it, which comes in contact with that friction material, or with that uh, steel pulley. And when you pick up on these, see how the motor moves down. Uh, when the motor moves down and then it comes in contact, that's your reverse. And then obviously that's your forward. But uh, I think what happened is someone couldn't find a small enough belt and they uh, had to put spacers on it and then get rid of the guard that's supposed to be here and uh, that stuff probably just was never working. So yeah, that's uh, pretty neat. And then here's your uh, lift for your cultivators or your or your plow or your disc. And then um, it has a PTO shaft out the back, which I have no clue what's that's for, what that is for, but I have one. Uh, pretty neat. as has oil bath air cleaner and uh, front hitch. Pretty neat stuff going on. And then someone had some welds on here. I don't know what that's for. But uh, yeah, so one day maybe I'll uh, ever get around to restoring it or I might paint it cat yellow like the guy I bought it from wanted to do. But uh, yeah, I decided to make a qu quick short video on this thing. It's uh, pretty neat. I'll start it up for you guys here in a second and uh, I'll give her a whirl. So this has uh, what you call a key, which is uh, made especially just for this machine. Uh, well, it's known as a starting rope. If you lose this, this will not work on another machine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I usually give a half choke and it should start first pull, I hope. Video, spinning out the barn over there, so thought I'd take her for a whirl. 